Hi everybody, my name is Andre H. Arruda, and the H, to answer your question, stands for hero. Because that's what everyone calling me ever since I was featured in a harassment video that went viral a while ago. Following that viral video showing what it's like for a woman to walk around New York City, a Toronto comedian decided to do something similar and show a few hours of his life as a man with a disability. Hey, mini me. Can you tie my shoes, man? Because of all the bullshit that I go through as a disabled person, I am a hero. So I created this series where I'm going to be sitting down with my friends and I'm going to tell them all the crazy shit that's happened to me in my life and they're going to ask me all types of questions that everyone has been too afraid to ask. So what's like the craziest thing that's happened to you at a show? Uh, I'd say like probably the craziest would be a casino gig and you they are always the worst. It's like trying to perform in the apocalypse or something. Like casinos are like terrible for comedians, right? Oh man! And I was in Niagara Falls with, um, with like Lori Elliott and Winston Spear. You know them, right? And then, and I had a pretty good set. And then Winston was the headliner. And came out, and you know he's one of the best joke writers in, in town. And I was like looking forward to seeing him. And then, uh, like within like two or three minutes of the set, someone yelled out, "Bring back the midget!" But then again. And this other guy from the other side of the stage or the other side of the crowd yells out, Shut the fuck up and let the funny man do his job! <laughs> and then the original guy's wife is like, You shut the fuck up, my husband's having a good time! It was a war zone. This other people just got up. He's like, fuck you, I hate you. My mother is the worst person ever. Someone just put it out for no reason. I was feeling like horrible about the whole thing. So Lori and I are out there, and then the manager comes in. He wasn't there at first. And this, you know, this big sleazy fat cat cigar, drinking a, his favorite brand of beer, which is Comedian Tears. <laughs> he goes up to there. He's like, "What's going on?" He's, he's like, the, wo "The the woman, the, the guy's wife is like, oh, we didn't do anything. We're just enjoying the show. It was that guy." And he's like, "Well, okay, it's out of my hands." He didn't care. He didn't give a shit. I would just love to see that guy throughout the rest of the night interacting with people, still screaming like. Bring back the midget! <laughs> in the jail cell. In the jail cell and all the other guys are like, what is he talking about? <laughs> it's always good to go out on a good show rather than go out on a bad show. Exactly, and it was a nice ride home because of that. We had a great feeling and we, were, we felt uh, vindicated. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's just like somewhere in Niagara Falls like, when is he coming back? <laughs> when is the midget coming back? <laughs> While he's watching Austin Powers too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the midget. <laughs> I don't hate the word midget, but I understand that there are people out there, people who are under 410, majority of them, who do. They hate the word so much, and I think that uh, because of this, we shouldn't say it, not because of censorship, but because of respect for other human beings who may be different th than us. And I think that goes with any, any group, any group on this planet. If there's some word that they find hateful, that they feel like it is against them as a human being, we gotta respect that. And it's the only way we can function on this planet, or at least one of them, many ways. You know, dwarf, midget, little person, any word, any I, any word is terrible. There's no, there's no one word that's the best. Just call me human being. Call me Andre. Yeah, call me anything, because I think the worst anyone can do is ignore me. You know, to, to ignore me because I'm different, or to, to not even acknowledge that I have a purpose on this earth, that I can actually function uh, in human society. That is the worst.